And here we go cruisers, welcome back and thank you for joining us for our first update of the week for our daily cruise news updates. We've got three new updates coming up as one cruise ship changes their itinerary heading in the opposite direction. Watch this video and more with all news fed directly to you from CruiseHive.com. Royal Caribbean International has reached out to loyal guests in the Crown and Anchor Society to let them know of an upcoming name change. The cruise line's signature Diamond Lounge will be renamed Crown Lounge in home of the cruise line's logo and decades of history. The exclusive lounge is now only available to guests at the Diamond, Diamond Plus and Pinnacle Club levels of loyalty. Guests visiting the Crown Lounge will still receive benefits such as the complimentary continental breakfasts, specialty coffees, evening appetizers, dedicated concierge service and more in the exclusive space. Carnival Cruise Line has confirmed that Wi-Fi pricing will be increasing for Australia cruises beginning on October the 16th. Guests who are currently booked or booked before mid-October can still lock in the current pricing for their sailing no matter what the departure date. Now while the new prices have not been revealed, at the moment prices for the Wi-Fi packages for US sailings is $12.75 for the social plan, $17 for the value plan and $18.70 for the premium plan. Now even after the prices increase, the Australian package prices will still likely be below the rates charged on the US sailings. Royal Caribbean International has reached out to guest booked on the September 30th departure of Liberty of the Seas to alert them to a dramatic itinerary change less than 24 hours before setting sail. Instead of visiting Bermuda as planned, the ship will be heading in the opposite direction to St John, New Brunswick instead due to forecasted poor weather and rough sailing. The originally scheduled to depart New Jersey had planned a five-night cruise visiting King Wharf before returning to Cape Liberty. Despite Liberty of the Seas departure and return times to Cape Liberty not changing, the ship arrived at St John and will remain in New Brunswick until October the 3rd before heading to its home port as scheduled on October the 5th. It's that time of year again folks as we look forward to the annual Cruise Hive Awards. There have been some changes this year including added new categories for you fantastic cruisers to vote in. You can cast one vote in each category including the best overall cruise ship of 2023. Also in the list is the best cruise line bucket experience and best cruise ship feature of 2023. We also have best cruise line for service and crew along with best cruise line private island and destination of the year, best US cruise home port and the exciting most anticipated new cruise ship for 2024. And then finishing the votes off will be the best new cruise ship of 2023. The voting is now open cruisers so head over to our website on cruisehive.com and good luck. The results will be revealed at the end of the year. And that's it for me today cruisers, my name is Paul and thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you'd like to access the news we have covered in the video, please visit our website on cruisehive.com. To stay informed, remember to show your support by giving our channel a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. Have a good day cruisers and I'll see you in the next video.